so we're going to do several review videos now on functions. Uh, so functions are something that everyone sees in high school and you spend a lot of time on them. And still it remains one of those areas where even at the end of a calculus course, it can be clear that a lot of people still don't quite understand what a function is, how a function works, how do you manipulate functions, um, how do you work with function notation, these sorts of things. It's something that can be a bit of a challenge for people. So um, let's just start with some basic examples. So functions you might have seen, right? The ones that are familiar from high school. So you probably saw things written, you know, like this, say, f of x equals, say, 3x minus 2, for example, okay? Or g of x equals, well, let's say, x squared minus 4x plus 3, something like that, right? So these are your um, the sorts of functions that you've probably encountered a number of times. Um, you've seen this notation, f of x. Uh, in, in subsequent videos, we're, we're going to expand on this notation. We're going to explain the meaning a little bit. For now, we'll just use it, um, hoping that it's somewhat familiar to most of you as you're watching these. Uh, and you're probably used to using x as the variable in your function, but there's no reason why you necessarily have to use x, right? You might have something like maybe velocity as a function of time, something like that, right? So you might have something like, uh, you know, minus 9.8 times t plus, I don't know, some initial speed, something like that. Um, so these are all examples of functions that you've encountered, right? Um, and some of these functions, they have names, right? So special types of functions, they have names to describe them, right? This one here is an example of a linear function. This is an example of a quadratic function. And of course, both of them are, are special cases of the more general idea of a polynomial function. But you can go well beyond polynomials. We can look at, at things like, uh, you know, let's say we do something like f of theta equals sine 2 theta, right? Some sort of trig function. We might do something like that. Um, exponential functions, logarithms. We'll look at all of these as we, as we proceed through the videos. Um, and of course, um, the name linear here, why do we call this a linear function? Well, it's a linear function because if you were to graph it, uh, if you were to set y equal to f of x, so y equals 3x minus 2, then of course we know that this, this here is just a straight line, hence linear, right? Um, you see the word line in linear right there, okay? Um, so we'll talk about graphs, we'll talk about different types of functions, we'll go over the function notation, we're going to look at all these different elements of understanding functions and working with functions over the next several videos.